you know. Um, so I think it's it's just different. I, I, I don't know what to, how to put my finger on it, but it's different. Uh, I've played a lot of their other games before, um, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to try this one. It's been uh, delayed quite a few times as well, so the hype keeps getting more and more every time it gets delayed, so really excited to play it. A couple of gamers talking about Cyberpunk 2077, an open-world adventure set in a dystopian city ruled by crime, corruption and cybernetics. It stars Hollywood actor Keanu Reeves and was one of the most uh, highly anticipated video games for years. Sadly, the real-world experience has failed to live up to the hype. After masses of complaints that the game's unplayable on older consoles because of numerous bugs, glitches and crashes, Sony has withdrawn Cyberpunk from PlayStation stores and is offering refunds. Of course, it's a massive blow for Europe's biggest video game developer, CD Projekt Red, which is also behind the popular Witcher games. In this world consumed by well, we can take a look at this with Jeff Gerstmann, who is an American video game expert. He co-founded and is editor-in-chief of the gaming website GiantBomb.com. He joins us from Petaluma, California, near San Francisco. Welcome uh, to the day. Um, just give us an idea of how big a deal this game is. Well, uh, thanks for having me. It's it, it, Cyberpunk is one of the most anticipated games uh, of the year, and and. In a year when Sony launched new console hardware and Microsoft launched new console hardware, it still managed to rise up to that level, even though it doesn't technically take advantage of that new hardware. Um, and part of that's because it's been delayed multiple times and it's following on the heels of uh, their previous game, The Witcher 3, um, which did quite well and, and built the reputation of CD Projekt Red up quite a bit. So what was your impression of the game? Uh, I found it to be very disappointing. Um, I think it has a lot of problems uh, across the board. I spent about 50 hours with it uh, to start to finish. And um, it's got problems of the, the bugs and glitches and things like, oh, this person is inside the this car or this car and motorcycle are trying to occupy the same space at the same time. And they're just like shaking apart and exploding. And um, But also, I think a lot of the story and a lot of the depth that you would expect from a game of this scope just isn't there. Uh, it feels very shallow. In a way, it almost feels like that maybe there was more there at some point. I'm speculating at this point, but you know, there was more there at some point, but they cut it because they had already delayed it so many times that they just felt the need to get it out the door. Yeah, so I, I wanted to ask you a, a, about that, that because th that, that last point that you, you made, that it seemed thinner, shallower than people were expecting, um, a few bugs, a, a few patches is not going to deal with, with that aspect of the complaints, is it? No, I, I don't think it will. Um, you know, they'll they'll fix the technical issues. You know, that's that'll come in time. Uh, they've already said they've got patches planned for January and February and, and probably beyond. Um, but at the end of the day, unless they're going to bring the voice cast back in to record new lines, unless they can get more of Keanu Reeves' time to correct some of the issues there or, or add some additional depth, um, I, I don't see them getting to a point where the game is uh, as, as deep and as satisfying as I think some players would be looking for. And so Sony uh, pulling this, that, that's, that seems, I think that's unprecedented, a, a storefront of pulling a game like this over performance uh, uh, issues. That's a big deal as well. Yeah, it, it very much is. It was quite a shock when that happened uh, last night uh, here, uh, Pacific time. Um, that's, uh, yeah, that doesn't happen very often. There are certainly some cases where uh, there was a Batman game that was pulled from uh, the PC storefront Steam for about four months for issues. Um, but this is probably the the biggest uh, and and closest to launch, like th this felt like. And if you read it, if you read the statement that Sony put out around this, it, it makes it sound like they kind of were like, "Hey, we're we're pulling this down." It didn't wasn't a, a joint statement with the publisher, like, "Hey, because of this, we're opening up refunds and and so on and so forth." It felt like Sony stepping in and saying, "Like, hey, we we, we need to do this, uh, if, if only to, to satisfy our consumers who are complaining quite a bit about the issues with the game." Yeah, let's let's take a look at the the the, the tweet that uh, that came from the publishers uh, as CD Projekt Red. Uh, the good news being, of course, that uh, disappointed gamers won't necessarily be left out of pocket. Um, so part of the tweet from the Cyberpunk timeline reads: Starting today, everyone who's not willing to wait for updates and wants to refund 
their digital copy of the game can do so by submitting uh, a request at, and then they give a website uh, address. So, Jeff uh, Gersman, who funds that? Who's going to pay for that? Is that going to be Sunny or is that going to be CD Projekt Red? Well, I think it'll it'll come ultimately. It'll it'll be funds that don't go to CD Projekt Red as a result of the sale of the game. Sony would get their cut, thirty percent, if you believe what the the talk is about what what their cut typically is. Um, so they'll be out that money on the sales. But uh, primarily, these are digital copies of games. So it's not a case of like. Uh, physical discs traveling. Though there are some examples of that as well, like CD Projekt Red has said that they'd be uh, assisting with refunds on physical games, which right. that's a little bit more complicated because I don't do, do players then have to ship the discs to yeah. uh, to CD Projekt Red directly, and like that's a complicated process. And then also they put a a very tight timeline on this that feels a little disingenuous, where they said like you must request by the twenty first of December, which is Monday. That's they're not giving players a lot of time right. to to do this, and and you may end up in a situation where some players buy copies after that date and still find it to be unsatisfying. Their their big patches aren't planned until next year, so okay. it's uh, I, I don't feel like they're doing enough here. Good talking to you. Thank you, uh, Jeff uh, Gersman, uh, American uh, video game uh, journalist from GiantBomb.com. Thank you.